Hey, it's Noel coming to you with another video here. Sitting here a little bit waiting for one of my kids to get out of theater class and just kind of hanging out here by the river <laughs> that is uh, near in the town where I live in. And it got me thinking about how much I appreciate where I live. You know, I talk a lot about migration patterns and people moving to the places that they want. I made that choice about five years ago to move back to Colorado from living in Chicago and establishing all my business in Colorado and walked away from a lot of that. And it took me a few years to kind of build that back up. But what I got in return for that hard work is I'm able to live the lifestyle I want, live in the place that I want. And, and I'm living in a place where there are much job prospects for someone like me locally. So I had to figure out the remote working model several years ago. And I feel like I'm reaping the benefits for this. And so it's more about what sacrifices you're willing to make to get what you want. And whether that's in business, whether that's with your life, with your family, what are you willing to do? How are you willing to, to step out of your comfort zone? And it reminds me of the book that I've been reading uh, by Marco Greenberg called Primitive. I, I talked about this before. I'm not gonna go through everything in the book, but you know, what are you doing to be your primitive self? And I think for me, by taking that big step, and a lot of people told me I was insane to walk away from the business that I had in Chicago, a commercial real estate brokerage I was running and things like that. It caused me to learn how to step out of my comfort zone in all things business. And I'm seeing the benefits from that, from being able to live the life I want, be there for my kids when they get home from school, but also work really hard and understand my boundaries and expectations of what I need to have to be centered and, you know, be successful. And I think COVID's really been hard because we spend a lot of time holed up in our house and the work hours are different and the kids are home and then they're not and they're around when they normally wouldn't be during the workday. It's been really hard, actually. It's been really hard to find my primitive self in business, not just kind of get stuck with all the negativity that's going out there with the election, with COVID, with all of these things and learn to appreciate what I have around me because life is short. So, you know, sacrificing everything you have for your job, that's not cool anymore. But working hard and learning how to be successful in the time that you have to work and learning to disconnect. I mean, one of the best things that I found by living here in Colorado is that when we go away on the weekend, we go camping, there's no cell service. And it's a liberating feeling to be able to totally empty out all of those things and not worry about them even for a small period of time over the weekend or a few days or whatever and uh, I really have learned to appreciate that and it's caused me to appreciate what I have and what I want to keep way beyond just making as much money as I can uh, living maybe more of a simple lifestyle but in the place you want with the environment you want, where your kids can grow up in a good environment. Um, that outweighs everything for me of living downtown and working a you know high-end uh, commercial real estate job that I did for many years. So I just wanna throw that out there. Tell me what you think. What are you doing to ensure that you are living your best self and not sacrificing everything to make money, but sacrificing everything to have the lifestyle for you and yourself and your family? And that includes being able to disconnect. Let me know what you think, thanks.